did you really pee on Dusty Rhodes? Uh, his leg, possibly, with Andre the Giant in tow? Yes. Yes, it started out with, uh, I had a blue, powder blue Lincoln Continental, and uh, we were in Jackson, Mississippi, and this was my first territory. Uh, had come there from Florida, and, you know, I had met Andre before, got along with Andre the few times that I had met him, and, of course, Dusty, I had been around him the whole time, and um, so I have the blue Lincoln Continental, the big car, and Dusty and Andre want to ride with me, and it's I'm more than happy, but I didn't tell him that my heater was broken. I didn't really think about it. I, my defroster worked, but my heater just wouldn't get hot. And um, I knew that we were going 220 miles north to uh, Greenville, Mississippi. And it, it was uh, like January around noon. The sun was shining. It was probably 40 degrees. So it wasn't really, the wind wasn't blowing you know, Steve, it was just, it didn't feel cold. And uh, yeah. Dust had this West Texas uh, sweatshirt on, and Andre had a, a white way of veil with a, a white T-shirt underneath it. And Dusty comes up to me um, and says, um, hey, you got to go to the liquor store. He goes, people, you got to go to the liquor store. And he said, you got to buy, uh, buy the giant two bottles of Prior Royal. Because he likes to drink the Crown Royal, buy him two big bottles of Crown Royal, buy him a case of uh, of Budweiser, buy me a case of Lone Star. And he said, you'll drive. And so he, you can get a six pack. I said, well, thank you. Thank you. And he hands me a few hundred bucks. So I go to the liquor store. Oh, and he stops me. He goes, oh, wait, wait, wait. He goes, get a cooler. He goes, get a cooler. Beep. It's going to be cold out there. I said, okay. Drink. And uh, so I go and. He comes down, and he's got a McDonald's cup, a big McDonald's cup, and Andre, everybody gets in, all smiles, you know, I'm just trying to listen and be, be happy at the same time, or be the good uh, chauffeur driver and excited about listening to what these guys had to say, so we're on our way up up to uh, the show in Greenville, and it's getting colder and colder, and I'm waiting for, for them to tell me to put the heater on, they don't tell me snow's coming down, and there was ice on the side of the road and drinking's going on. You know, I haven't touched anything. Yeah, I got I got a whole six pack. <laughs> They're drinking beers and Crown Royal. And, uh, so I guess, you know, a little antifreeze there. And um, we get to the town and uh, before we got, right before we got there, uh, the Dusty goes, he goes, hey, Pete, he goes, listen, uh, you're on before us. So make sure you come out and have the car nice and warm. I said, okay, dream. So, um, we go in, have our matches. I come out, grab a few people to get in the car. You know, a few uh, people, wrestling fans, but I knew them. And uh, they get in the car, and I'm, I didn't tell them why they were in there, but I said, as soon as, I, as soon as me or one of you guys see Dusty or Andre getting ready to come out here, you got to hop out quick. So the, the door cracks, and you can see the towels over there. They pop out. In comes, uh, I pop the trunk. Um, you know, they throw their gear in the back, sit in the seat, and uh, they're laughing. And da 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 da, I take off, and uh, we're going along. And uh, we we had that cooler, and we had already peed in the, in the cooler once. <laughs> we had the cooler, and now we pee in the cooler again. We got the McDonald's cups. So now we get about, we're already maybe only like 40 miles from uh, back to Jackson. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, um, I remember uh, 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 Andre said something that was hilarious. It was just so funny. And he went forward, like, towards the dashboard. And nobody realized Dusty was peeing. And he, uh, I guess he was dumping the cup, his cup in that styrofoam cooler. And when Andre went backwards, my seat broke and my 70 feet late metal and, and went backwards onto the dream because he was riding on the hump in the back and it smashed the cooler e all over and boy man god damn people you'll black ball you'll never wrestle like moon and you just pissed on them there i can dream you got the two greatest superstars in the wrestling industry and you just on that man i can dream what kind of respect is that you'll never wrestle again and he just cut this promo on me and he went on and on it's badly i felt like you know just terrible terrible and uh so a few days later we're in new orleans and we 
we had a, we had a day off because we were in the Superdome and uh, uh, we're eating that oysters and stuff at Felix's and Andre wouldn't eat the oysters, but drinking lots of beer and uh, there's another bar across the street, and, uh, so we're gonna go to that bar across the street. I had to pee again, uh, so I said I'm gonna go right here and pee and and the boss is going hey 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 let's go and there's this. Uh, in New Orleans, there's like this uh, chair with this mannequin, female mannequin, swinging in and out. So the boss wanted to go check that out. And um, so I figure I can hold it. We get there and finally get to the place, uh, open the doors, and you walk up these stairs, and there's like a, a landing platform. And then from the platform, there's a blind set of stairs that you can't really see till you get to the platform. And, you know, my teeth are shattered. I got to pee so bad. And, you know, there was there was a little palm tree there. I figured I'd get to that platform and I'll pee on that palm tree. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> and uh, we're walking up the stairs and get right before the top stair. Andre's and the lead. Dusty's right behind him and I'm right behind Dusty. All of a sudden, the lights go out. And I mean, it's completely black. You cannot see anything. You can't see your finger in front of your face. And I hear um, the giants say, hold, 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 hold on to your poke. You know, in other words, hold on to your wallet. You know, he thought we were getting robbed or something. James go, God damn, God damn, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up. And, uh, you know, we both, we got, get to the landing platform and we're kind of like holding each other. And I kind of turn and got that, feel the leaf of that palm tree. And so, you know, I peed in that palm tree and she goes, we're, we're standing there. It seemed like for another five seconds or so, 10 seconds, and the light pops on, and I'm just going, hey, 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 hey. And all of a sudden, he's, he, he, tucked, he always tucked his jeans in his cowboy boots. And I thought I was peeing in a palm tree, but I was peeing in his boot in his, on his leg, and it was going right down into his boot. And he's going, yeah, damn, and the giant just, oh, he's laughing so hard. I mean, I have never seen the giant laugh so hard in my life. And, Dusty cuts that same promo on me. Hey, young people, I, not one time, not one time, two times, you pissed out the American dream. You will never wrestle again, you're black ball. You will never. You know, he just went off on me, and it, it was just funny. He pulled his boot off and just, he's coming out, probably, you know, three cups of pee came out of his boot. It was hilarious. Oh, my God. My God. Now that, now that's the story. Wow. Yeah. You know, I don't think many people in this world can say they peed on American Dream Dusty Rhodes, but I don't think anybody can say they did it twice in the same <laughs> week. <laughs> yeah, really. Really, in the same week. I mean, that's crazy. So, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I, of course, I never got blackballed. And, uh, Dusty tells the story. He's, you know, in his book, he says Andre peed on him, but that's not true. You know, it sounds better if Andre peed on you than Brian Blair, but uh, it'd be Brian Blair. But uh, anyway, uh, oh, it was uh, it was hilarious. You know, that was one of the Giants' favorite stories for a long time. 